stable, secure, affordable, window eyes. Welcome to another How Do I Do That? GW Micro presentation. Today's presentation is going to talk about using window eyes and Microsoft Outlook 2010. We're specifically going to talk about how do you add an attachment to an email that you're trying to send. On my screen, I already have Microsoft Outlook 2010 up and running. If I do a Control Shift T, you'll be able to hear it. Inbox student training GW micro .com Microsoft Outlook maximized. So first of all, it tells me that I'm in my inbox. It tells me that I'm maximized. The next thing I'm going to do is press Control N to start a new email message. So Control N. N. Untitled message HTML. To rich edit. Now this opens up a new window, so let's check out to see if it's maximized. So I'm going to press Control Shift T. Untitled message HTML normal. And it says normal, so the first thing I need to do is maximize this window. So I'm going to press Alt Spacebar. Space. System Restore R disabled. And the letter X that will activate the maximize option. X. Menu closed. So now if I press Control Shift T. Untitled message HTML maximized. So always important to have those windows maximized. Okay, so we're in this brand new message. We're in the two edit field. So let's just send this message to somebody. I'm just going to send it to my email address. So I'm going to send it to uh, jeremy at gwmicro.com. J-E-R-E-M-Y at G-M-I-C-R-O period O. O C type O M. There we go. Jeremy Curry, Jeremy G W Micro dot com. And you already hear Outlook has my email address handy, so I can just press my tab key. Of course, if you wanted to send a message to support, that would be support s u p p o r t at gwmicro dot com. A good place to send your questions regarding technical support issues with window eyes. So once I pressed my tab key, it actually accepted that uh, email address that was already in Outlook. So I'm going to tab again because I'm still in the to field. CC Rich Edit. There's Carbon Copy. I'm going to tab again. Subject New Rich Edit. And in Subject, I'm just going to type in How H -O -W space to. T -O. So I typed in How To, and I'm going to tab again. Section 1 of 1 Style Normal Column 1 of 1 Web Layout How To. So this is my message body. I'm going to go ahead and type in a message here. H E R E space space what's the M E A A A G E. Period. So I've just got... Here is my message. Here's my message. This would be where you'd type your email to your friend or family member or colleague or whoever you're sending it to. So now, once we've got just that basic information of who the email's to, the subject, and if you've carbon copied or blind carbon copied anybody on this, and once you've typed your email, you're ready to go ahead and insert your attachment. Now, we could have gone ahead and done that prior to putting all this information in, but if we weren't going to send it to anybody, then there'd really be no point in sending an attachment. So... The next thing we have to do is we're going to access the ribbon. So we need to get up to the insert tab in the ribbon that's here in our message. And I could press alt and then right arrow to insert or the hotkey to get to insert is alt N as in Nancy, the obviously the second letter in the word insert. So I'm going to press alt N and insert alt and two of five tab control. So now I'm on this insert tab control inside of my message, I need to get to the very first item called attach file. There's two ways I could do this. I could simply tab to it if I wanted to, or I can quickly press A followed by the letter F, which will activate that button. Just so you can hear it, I'm not going to use the hotkey, but I'm going to press tab. Include group attached file alt and the F button. So there at the end, you heard Alt-N-A-F. You heard the, the entire sequence of hotkeys that will actually get you here. So I'm going to go ahead and press Enter on here. File name and combo edit box. Dialog insert file. So I just pressed Enter on the Insert File button, and it's opened up a dialog. It's opened up the Insert File dialog. And this is just like an open or save as dialog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to my list of files and folders. And the way I'm going to do that is press shift tab twice. Now, if you know the path of your attachment, you can go ahead and type it here. But uh, I'm not entirely sure of what my path is because I don't remember. So I'm going to press shift tab. List box. Shortcut state modify 2, 3, 20, 12, 11, 20, 4 a.m. Type file folder 1 of 3. So I pressed shift tab twice to get here. I'm using Windows 7. If you're using Windows XP, it may only be once. 
but I pressed shift tab twice to get here and I already have an attachment. This is actually a list of files on the desktop. I have an attachment uh, or excuse me, a document called test. And so what I'm going to do is down arrow to test. Internet Explorer date mod, test date modified 2, 3, 20, 12, 11, 26. All right. And I press control to silence that because you don't need to hear all the details about test. Uh, but here is my uh, file that I want to attach. So I'm simply going to press enter here. How to message HTML, style normal column one of one web layout how to. And now I have my file attached. If I want to verify that, I can press Alt 7. Attach T blank test dot docs 12 KB. And there it is. It tells me that my attachment is already attached to my message. So now I'm ready to send this. And once I'm ready to send this inside of Outlook, all I have to do is press Alt S as in Sam, and it's going to send. S. Date three weeks ago. Inbox student training dot gw micro dot com Microsoft Outlook list box red attachment from. I press control to silence that and off it went. I'm back into my inbox. If I want to verify that I've actually sent that message, it's real simple. I can press control Y. Y. Dialog go to folder. This folder brings up inbox one. <laughs> silence that again. This brings up the go to folder dialog and I'm going to press the letter S until I get to sent. S. Sent items three of fourteen. All right, there's sent items, so I'll press enter, and that's going to navigate me to that folder. Sent items, student training dot gw micro dot com Microsoft Outlook. Red attachment to Jeremy Curry, Jeremy gw micro dot com subject out to sent right two three twenty. All right, and I'm going to silence that, but you can see right there, my message is in sent items, and that automatically tells me that that message has definitely been sent. Thanks for joining us for another How Do I Do That presentation from GW Micro. For any technical support questions, you can contact our technical support department at support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at gwmicro.com, or call technical support at 260-489-3671. Stable, secure, affordable, window eyes.